dear me, oh dear me. Uh, welcome back to Nino Kuni for the PlayStation 3. This is KTK. Um, <laughs> when last we left, we finished Golden Grove for the most part. We got a new familiar by the name of Nell, which is a seed sprite. Um, we learned the Quick and Grove spell, and we finally found the Waste Stone. Uh, Unfortunately, now we are near the edge of the forest. <laughs> I had just tried to do this, and I succumbed so badly to it. So I decided I would just retry it. Look, Mr. Drippy, it's a fountain. But it's all dried up. Deary, deary me, this ain't too pretty, is it? But now we know what the problem is, at least. We do? Well, this is the spring of life, ain't it? It's what put the plenty in forest of plenty. The reason the fairies of Scarford and the tree that the familiar egg was in was all withered is because the spring by here is run dry. Of all the low moves, who would do something like this? Proper despicable ed- uh oh. What's wrong, Mr. Drippy? I've got a feeling my lantern that the culprit is about to appear. Trust me, Mon, it's how these things always happen. Yeah. See? Gladiator, Guardian of Golden Grove. This is gonna be just like that tree thing that we fought. I don't even remember the name for it now. I tried this in an earlier video, like maybe not even two minutes ago. But the problem is that I died way too fast. So uh, this time I'm gonna be a bit more on the defense. Golden Glam! <laughs> That'd be so awesome to have. Whoa! <laughs> can use that to evade his attacks every now and then, too. This one is a problem. He's not going to use Savage Swipe and uh, ever play it anymore. What is with his evasion? <coughs> oh. Looks like he's about to go flip him ballistic. Put your guard up, man, quick. Er. Come on. 
Ooh, I don't know. Hold on a second, Ollie boy. Take this, you big bully. Nice. Tidy. Now's your chance, Moon. Now's your chance. Uh, yeah. Go, 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 go! Almost, almost, almost! Thank goodness, that horrible creature is gone. That wasn't just any old creature, Ollie boy. That was the guardian of this here forest. Guardian? You mean like the guardian of the woods? That I do. It's like I said, ain't it? Life force can make things pop up all over this place. And in places like this forest, the desire of the inhabitants to protect their home gives birth to massive guardian beasties, see? Beasties like that one you fought over in the deep dark wood and the lad we just met. I don't know if you know this, but his eyes were proper funny. Do you think Shadar? I wouldn't be surprised if he'd had a hand in an assorted little affair. Drying up a spring is just like the just the kind of low down trick he'd play. Nickers. Well the guardian is back to his old self, but what are we gonna do about this spring of life, huh? I've been thinking about that, Mr. Trippy. We held the tree the egg was in with a spell, didn't we? Could we maybe use the same spell to restore the spring of life? There's clever of you, Ollie boy. Reckon some of my brains must be rubbing off on you. <laughs> Give it a try, my lad. All right, Mr. Drippy, I'm sure that works. And like I said, I do apologize about the yappy yap. My roommate decides to just lock it up. Ooh, already it looks pretty. <clears throat> A single spell that a novice wizard can end up casting just undoes Undoes, undoes, undid, whatever Shadar did, huh? <clears throat> it is indeed. Now the guardian of the spring and the spring are back to the normal selves. The fairies won't be far behind. Thirty. Neato. I sure hope we meet some fairies the next time we're here. Me too, Ollie boy. Me too. Right. To all my moon. Yes, sir. The purity at the heart of the spring has unlocked a story in the Witcher's Companion. The Shepherd Boy. Well, it's a pretty looking spring. And on we go to our next adventure. Let's see, we are in Golden Grove South. There's an oasis, there's a castle. There's weird dandelion trees, and then there's a dock and another castle. Huh. This is gonna be a bit more than what was for. Right then, Ollie boy. I reckon there's some proper nasty monsters around by here. Don't try to be a hard man and take them all on. Just hurry up and get to Al Moon, ain't it? Yes, sir. What's the best way? I gotta go straight through here. No! Ugh. Stupid creatures. A swordborn, a crow. Let's go. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Ah. 
dare you try and attack us with your mohawk. Nice. <laughs> we did it! Tinder beef. Mmm, BP. Um, I don't see it off just yet. I see more monsters than anything else. Uh, is that a sun? Whatever it is, it's too close. I'm gonna try and see if I can avoid most of these while I get to all my moon. Uh, I think is that it right there? No. It's not. Yes, it is. The oasis. Almost there. No. Close one there. Go, 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 go. Good thing I'm part ninja. Al <laughs> Mamun. Of course, just what I've seen in the previews of the intro, this is probably going to be. Well, no spoilers just yet. <laughs> Court. Okay. Court of the Khalifa. Cow Leafa. Her majesty. <laughs> Here we are, Alma Moon. Beautiful. Mm hmm. It's different from Ding Dong Dell, huh? Well, of course it flipping is. It's slap bang in the middle of the desert for a start. Mmm. What's that delicious smell? That's the babanas, isn't it? Babanas are what Alma Moon's famous for, see? Never eaten a fruit like it. Gorgeous they are. Tell you what, I'm starving. Fancy a babana split? Really? They're that good, huh? Wow. Too flipping right they are. This place was built on the Babana trade. There's tasty fruit. Okay, let's try some. Before we go Babanas, though, we should try and find this Rashad, ain't it? It's what we came here for, after all. You're right, we should ask around and find out if anyone knows about him. Knows him, whatever. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you know where I can find the Great Sage Rashad? The Great Sage Rashad? It is a long time since he was called by that name. These days he would do better to ask after Rashad, seller of Babanas. He sells Babanas? You mean he's not a sage anymore? Uh, but getting him to teach me about magic was our whole reason for coming here. Hmm, there's worry. Still, we were after a Babana split anyway, so we might as well stop by and see what's what, ain't it? Yes. Okay, let's go find Rashad. Well, 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 let's see what we got here. We got... There's one emotion, three, uh, errands, and whatever those things are up the top. There's the Hootique, there's Swift, there's Swift Solutions, and then there's the Cat's Cradle. Um, let's go stay at the Cat's Cradle right now. Since we learned that doing so ends up killing our wizard companion. Plus, you never know when you may need it. Ooh, not bad. And a blue chest too, yes. Don't know why I was passing it. <laughs> a cup of strong coffee. It's probably gonna be a pick-me-up or something. Alright. Welcome to the Palace of Poppering, the cream of Cat's Cradle establishments. We pride ourselves on our practicality and our pricing. Crossing the desert is a most terribly tiring pursuit. I recommend a nice nap to recharge your energies. Stay. Your custom is always appreciated. We hope you enjoy a nice nap at the finest inn in all of the Summerlands. Travelers weary from journeying across the desert sands know that a royal welcome always awaits them at the Palace of Pampering. Look at that. Your wizard's companion got all filled up with the, all the memories of the folks who stayed here before. Tidy. New pages. The more the merrier, eh? 
Regions of the World page, Summerlands South. Okay, so I kind of figured that would have been the case. I just, I probably didn't pay attention well enough. I will go ahead and probably check out the errands first, since... Actually, no. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll cut it off here, and the next time we will explore Alma Moonsome. Till then, take care.